ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರೀ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಶೀರೊನೃತು ಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡ ಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ರಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ರು ತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವಂ ವಾಳ್ವ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ನೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಪರ್ವ uh number 3.1 uh the quotation what we saw yesterday namely mahata punya panyena kriteyam uh kayanaustaya that's the first line mahata punya panyena kriteyam kayanaustaya so the last word is bidyate so that is from mahabharata shanti parva 3.1 so here uh, now we have uh, also we are uh, we will now uh, say the complete quotation mentioned by swami deshika in ragasya uh, shikhamani uh, in the page 10 uh, and uh, the earlier page also 9 uh, number 1 in tamil uh, it was uh, a famous uh, decade called tirumangalvar's uh, first uh, um tirumali called the periya tirumali and periya tirumali starts with uh, vaadi nen vaadi so it gives us the um, greatness of the name narayana uh, that's what we saw so here uh, so it is the fourth uh, pasharam of uh, periya tirumali uh, and uh, every every uh, every pasharam every verse of the first mudal pat first tekad and first tirumali of tirumali are very important and very famous and so vaadinen vaadi varundinen manathal perandu iridam bil perandu koodinen koodi ilaivar thammodu avar tharum kalaviye karidi odinen odi uyirar porulal unarvenum perumbadam therindu naadinen naadi naan kandu konden narayana vennum naam so the fourth one which uh, swami vedanta deshika quotes here starts with this word venriye vendi fourth one number 114 so venriye vendi veel porukirangi verkanar kalaviye karidi nindravan illa nenjane udaiyen en seigen nedu vishumbanavum pandriya endru paarahanginda vaaliyan aaliyan arulale arule ನಂದು ನಾನು ಉಯ್ಯ ನಾನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಂಡೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಐಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಳ್ವಾರ್ ಆಳ್ವಾರ್ ಆರ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಅಂಶ ಭಗವದ್ ಅಂಶ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೇ ಗೈ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ದಿ human society in india human society most of them unborn most of them are uh, appearances avir bhav uh, for example the three first alvars poi hai bhutam pe all of them were ayonijas most of them are ayonijas i don't think uh, we must find out who are the who are all ayonijas and that means they are not from the womb they are not born from the womb ordinary human being they were all uh, born what you call uh, in a supernatural fashion 
just like goddess sita sita appeared andal appeared so we call it avirbhava appearances so all was appeared and therefore uh, their uh, condition cannot be compared with our condition and they cannot advise us so seriously they say give up all your materialistic pleasures give up your uh, uh, materialistic aim don't uh, involve yourself in sensual pleasures of the world how can we divorce uh, us from ourselves from such uh, what we call mundane desires uh, i used to ask a scholar like this when a child is born uh, you say you I mean when it's a male child you do all samskaras and when it is a female child you get it married get the child married at the young age also five in the case of dikshit is of chidambaram five just five so the boy will be just seven years old or eight to nine years and uh, they will be the girl will go to the in-laws house or the other husband's house after she becomes uh, i mean she she what you call pu puberty she goes into periods then only she will go there and in the young age also they will beget children the girls will give, give birth to children and it was very natural in those days today you fix a minimum date for minimum years of age for girls and boys to uh, give birth to children uh, if you say it is dangerous risky but uh, in those days there was no risk there was no disease also uh, in, uh, in the in children of course many children uh, passed away unfortunately many children survived also uh, one of the children is was my father <laughs> at uh, the age of uh, i think uh, 17 or 18 of my grandmother he was born he was normal uh, till uh, till end, till his end so why is it uh, present it is uh, of course there are many cases of casualty but uh, it was very normal uh, when uh, at the age of uh, teen the children were born so here arvars says in every in every month of this uh, decade 10 uh, avardham kalaviye karudi verkadar kalaviye karudi meaning we must not engage in the intercourse at all <laughs> uh, and we must not be busy with that always you should not go over think over it all, always that's what they say and uh, in those days uh, at least there there were 10 children per family and then now now we have you know, restricted to one and even then now, now one uh, the wife calls the husband as her child and husband calls uh, his wife as his child avalukku naan kulandai So though, though the role of woman is also um, uh, given given by uh, male chauvinism, that is, she must act as a wife, she must act as a mother, she must act as a friend, she must act as a, act as a cook, and so on. Always uh, the wife should serve the husband. Uh, it was all male-dominated society. now that days have changed so here the quotation is very important in the sense that my mind doesn't stay in one place it's like a monkey as already quoted by deshika also so vanaram pole again uh, in the second quotation which we saw kelanoli ilame kiduva keduvadan munnam that is from nammalvas thiruvaimuli number 2 10 and one so this want i register in the video also so that uh, uh, we will uh, we will be going uh, along the lines of uh, vedanta deshika's uh, thoughts and uh, we must also know the full meaning of the uh, quotation though just a single line has been given 
So in the previous quotation, I go back a little. The previous quotation, uh, Alvar, Tirumangi Alvar refers to, Tirumangi Alvar and Kulachekar Alvar were kings, royal from uh, members of royal family. And uh, he says, uh, he refers to um, Varahavatar. That is more important for Deshika here in, to quote Varaha Charma Shloka. Because he connects those um, Alvar's uh, Divya Prabhanda statement connected with uh, Varaha, the Lord Varaha. And therefore, Pandriyai and the Parahankinda are young. And again, of course, all Alvars refer to all avatars uh, in their uh, Pashurams, in their Divya Prabhanda. Then, so here, um, this, this particular uh, quotation, second quotation called Kilaroli Ilamai Kaduadan Munnam is, uh, as I told you again, uh, 210 1. Kilaroli Ilamai Kaduadan Munnam, Valaroli Mayon, Maruviya Koil, Valar Ilam Puril Shul, Malir and Jolai, Talar Vilarahi Sharva the Shadire. Namarvar, staying in a single place, visits all Divya Kshetras. And this is a particular Divya Kshetra called Thirumal in Jolai on a small hill near Madurai. And we call it as uh, the, the deity at the uh, bottom of the mountain is called the Kallagaha. And there's a very big festival every, every year going on with uh, crores of devotees gathering. Kallagaha Vaige Yatil Irangadal, Lord uh, Sundar Raja. Sundaran, Sundaran, he is getting into the Vaigai river water for uh, Thirumajjanam, so Abhishekaha, uh, what you call anointment. So here, so this Thirumal in Jualai will be Thirumal in Jualai is the uh, Divya Kshetram referred to in this 10th uh, uh, decade of the second part of uh, uh, of course, any Divya Kshetra, uh, whether it is now as it is described in World War or not, uh, we always have rich imagination, rich explanation, meaning uh, the whole flora, flora of uh, uh, the Divya Kshetra is very nice. The natural vegetation with the beautiful uh, scenery of uh, green leaves, flowers, and fruits. Uh, it, it's also, Sirangam also is uh, described so. And uh, Alvars were, were never poor in their descriptions. Uh, this is also in uh, uh, similar to Sanskrit uh, works where we, we don't have any poor uh, background of uh, explanation. We are always, we are all, all always optimistic. Uh, we never give a bad story. Uh, so, Valaridam, Purilshur, Malidam Jolai, Talar Vilarahi, Sarvadasa. So, we are, we are to visit, according to Namarva's advice, we are to visit many uh, Divya Kshetras and worship there before we become old and decrepit. That's it. The debility sets in as the go, uh, age goes on. So we will now take up the next. Uh, it's, a, it's a light impression in the first three lines. So now we were discussing why uh, the extra word Naraha must be said along with the Yaha. Yaha will be sufficient. That's what uh, Deshika uh, putting a Purva Paksha, an argument by himself. So that he he himself answers those uh, doubts. So idadan idadan siddha gandharva ekshaha cha tataha tvam sharanangataha tadu upariyapi badarayanaha sambhava. Again, it seems it's again uh, Mahabharata quotation. So again, we must find out uh, that will be uh, used in the next session. So siddha gandharva ekshaha. So these are all three categories of heaven, uh, residence. Siddhaha, 
Gandharvaha. Gandharvaha especially um, meant for music. Yakshaha for both the dance and music. So, Yakshaha uh, have the leader called Kubera, the god of, god of wealth. And uh, I think we have got Gandharva uh, Raja and also Siddha Raja. So Tataha then, so all these people have uh, come surrendered to you. Tuam Sharanangataha. All of them have surrendered to you. Then not only that, upa, Tatu Upariyapi. Whoever is missing here in this list, is a, they, are, they also surrendered to uh, Lord. Uh, maybe it is Krishna here because it is Mahabharata. Uh, Tadupari Api. We can take it also as Rama. Of course, uh, in, in Ramayana, all the people, uh, demons, uh, monkeys, um, sages in the forest, all of them surrendered to Rama. So Tadupari Api meaning uh, beyond that also. Beyond that also. That means nobody is spared. Nobody is left out in the in surrendering to Rama, surrendering to Krishna. Yendre Deva the Hiluku. So they the, generally uh, gods are called the superior class uh, than than um, Siddha Gandharva Aksha. and therefore uh, Tadu Pariyap. So Deva the Yelukum Parama Purusha Samashrayana the Karam Sana Dangar order. Virodhyado in it. Then the question is, when Naraha is used, there is a problem. How about the gods, Devaha? How about Yakshaha? How about Siddhaha? How about Gandharvaha? The question arises. Yo Naraha, again go to other words, Datu Samya Stite Sati, Sustraste Sharire Stite Sati, Stite Manasi Sustraste, so in these three uh, statuses are normal in a human being. Human being, when is a human being, what about gods? Uh, now the answer is this. Because even gods are jealous of us human beings. In fact, in Krishnavatara, they were all the 33 crores of gods, including Brahma, were highly jealous of the cow goddesses of the Gokula, cow pen. Why? Because they could move with the Paramatma with so easily and so, what do you call, uh, uh, accessibility was so uh, uh, great that Krishna played with them, Krishna pampered them. Krishna made a fun of them. In fact, uh, it was reciprocal also. It was mutual also. Fun was very mutual. Games are very mutual. Rasa Leela. And uh, threatening Lord Krishna also was mutual. Yashoda threatened him. All other gopis also threatened him. Uh, and in turn, he threatened all of them. So it's all, it's all sport, very beautiful sport. And all the gods were jealous. Actually, gods were born as sick, the god cowherdesses and cowherds. And the, especially we say in, in, in the case of the incarnation of Lord Krishna, the sages in the forest in, during the incarnation as Rama, they came in large numbers to uh, incarnate like the cowherds. So they were they were in greater number than 33 crores of gods. And therefore the gods also joined with them. And in the in the case of Avatar of Rama, monkeys were the incarnations of the gods. In fact, uh, the gods' sons also took incarnation as monkey. We, can't, we cannot call them incarnation in the true sense of the gods' term. But uh, they were also born. They were also born. They were also, of course, uh, rather Ayonijas also. Indra's son was Wali. Vayu's son was uh, Anuman. Um, 
then Sugriva was uh, the son's son, S U N S O N, the son's son, and so on. They actually gave birth, to, they, all, they all begot children as monkeys, or monkeys as children. Then uh, what about us, human beings? Are we greater than gods? Yes. So it is very difficult to get to the body of a human being. Durlabha, very rare. Manushaha, a human form. Dehaha, physical body. Manushyam prapya loke spin. And in these quotations also are from, should be from Mahabharata. Let us check uh, after the session and uh, present it uh, in the next session. Durlabho manusho dehaha. The birth as a human form is very uh, rare in the sense uh, very much uh, wanted, very much sought after. A, a human birth is very much sought after. Not, not, not as animals. Avvaya, a very great poet, a very old po poetess in Tamil said, Aridu Aridu Manida Nai Karatalim. It's very difficult to get become a human being in a birth. Aridu Aridu Manida Nai Karatalim. That is again because of the Sukurtam, the good deeds that are merits which were uh, which were blessed by God in all, in all our previous births. Remember always, uh, I too remember uh, as uh, days go by, for every action I remember Satvika Tyaga, the Bhagavan Eva. Therefore, the same way. So we became human beings. We have become human beings. Then, uh, so Manushyam Prapya Loke Asmin. Loke Asmin. It's not a question of becoming a human being in heaven or Vaikuntam or somewhere else. So only in this earth, only in the world, in this universe, we have become human beings. Manushyam Prapya. We have become, we have got humanhood. Humanhood. Manushyam is humanhood. Prapya getting. Loke Asmin. In this world. In this mortal world is more important. We are all mortals. Though we are human beings, we are only mortals. We are not immortals. Whereas you know, we cannot be born as human beings in an immortal world. So that is also there. So what happened? So we were we were plants in the previous birth. Plants and immovable beings in our previous birth. I mean, we guess we make an wild guess that we were inanimate objects in the previous births. Then slowly and slowly we have come to this beautiful status called human being. We are able to understand the knowledge. We are able to transfer the knowledge. We are able to uh, fulfill our, complete our study. So Sthavara Tashi Karinda Mahalabhati So Sthavaram Sthavaram in Tamil becomes Tavaram. Without the first letter S, yes, that's all. Tavaram. Meaning plants. The plant kingdom. So we were immovables like walls, stones, you know, inanimate things like that. And then animate things also like plants. So uh, plants with uh, life. The life, uh, life sciences. So Mahalabham. So we got over, got over and we were profited by Mahalabha. We were greatly profited by uh, the passing away of the those births. We have crossed those births. Dashai Karinda. We crossed that status when we have come to this condition, beautiful condition, human being. Vichitra Deha Sammadhihi, Sampadhihi, Ishwaraya Nivedi. <laughs> Lord Sivan Narayana has a Specific and selfish aim, that's uh, I would say. Oh, he, his creations are all for his worship. He, in order to adore him, he created everything. Bahusyam Prajaye, Nama Rupe Karavani. These are all certain Vedic sentences. 
which uh, he himself said, I will be born in different species, as different species, animate, inanimate objects, insentient and sentient objects. And I will also give names and form to these uh, creations. Dhamma Rupe Karavani. Let me give names and forms. But what for? Final goal is uh, to adore him. Ishwaraya Nivedita. Now our richness, wealth, sampattihi. Sampattihi is a feminine gender word. And therefore the first word is in, again feminine gender, namely vichitra. Vichitra. Our richness is wonderful. Our richness is wonderful. Deha sampatti. The wealth of our body. Wealth of our body is, uh, means we have got normal uh, working body. All sense organs are beautifully, perfectly working. So Deha sampatti. Deha sampatti is very important as we said earlier. Sharire susraste chite sati. Uh, you, have, you have balanced uh, uh, body with no disease, no troubles, trouble-free uh, uh, body, physical body, and then a good mind which will work properly in a in a good body. A sound mind will work beautifully. So, ityadigalil. Now, God has made a decree instruction order that uh, this body must be used to, to worship the Lord. Ishwaraya Nivedita. Don't expect anything else. When we do prapati, it is the uh, it is the demand from us. Namely, don't aspire for materialistic worldly aims. It, uh, it, it should not be in your mind. But Lord will give. Again, <laughs> we are reminded that Lord will grant those uh, wishes. But the wishes should not come to the fore. They should not be dominating the desire for the moksha. So, so Yishwaraya, as Vibhishna said, Sarvaloka Sharanyaya, Chaturchayubhakti, they two case. Only for his sake. Only for his sake. So, Now, Mahabharata gives us the instruction that if we misuse the physical body, then we have a warning. What will happen? If we go astray, if we don't tread the right path, then we are reminded of the bad consequences. In Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, you find a big chapter on hell. They have listed, uh, listed what you call the demerits, papam, the sins uh, um, which we can we, uh, we may commit. But I, I told everybody that there, are, there is a bigger list of uh, sins which we commit, which Bhagavatam doesn't say. So each hell is allotted for a particular sin. So it's only a threat. A threat. And if, if uh, we uh, do not do that, then we are on the right path. So Nara Prashabdam Saprayodhan. Why this Nara has been used? Because there are two shades of uh, uh, the meaning, inner meaning of the word Nara. We are likely to commit sins. And therefore, we are human beings. English proverb, it is human to err. Our, our habit, our practice is to commit sin. But if you are different from our uh, natural instinct, then we are great. Therefore, uh, the word Nara, meaning mortal, no, it's, it means mortal. That means we have death facing us uh, uh, at any time. Then uh, we must be afraid of it. Therefore, we must not go on a wrong path. 
and therefore nara shabda nara shabda serves in two ways one positively positively meaning um the the human body is useful to uh, worship the lord develop the devotion follow the disciplines of karma jnana and bhakti and fourth prapati yoga easiest uh, discipline that we can practice uh, only only human being is capable of doing it and no other living being no other creation and therefore it is both advantages and a, a warning is given to us a serious warning is given that we must not go astray gajendra uh, the uh, lordly elephant rather the leader of elephants was cursed by a sage to become an elephant and therefore it was a gandharva ha ha hu hu <laughs> so it's a gandharva that means gandharva is not better than a human being gandharva also yes gandharva also makes mistakes for example the two arjuna trees yamala arjuna yamala 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 arjuna there are two trees in the garden of nandagopa and uh, both the trees were cursed by kubera i mean again by another sage and they were kubera servants they were yakshas they were yakshas two people nala 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 gri nala kupa and manigri nala kupa and manigri they were uh, servants of kubera kubera yakshas they are yakshas here the gajendra and the uh, crocodile were gandharvas they they showed face like an elephant and a crocodile when the sage when the sage went into the water uh, yeah gandharva uh, uh, acted like a crocodile and caught his leg for just fun and then they were cursed to be so they are not uh, they are not real animals <laughs> they are not real and they are not born animals they were made animals <laughs> So, so they are not naras they are, they are not nara the problem is the nara human being is more fascinated than gandharva yaksha any deva for that matter god uh, and so on and uh, we also say brahma also became jealous of uh, even the women of the gokula yashoda was envied by lord brahma that is why he took away all the cows and uh, calves for one year for one year of uh, i think a theory of relative time relativity and uh, krishna acted as uh, all those uh, cows um, calves even uh, cowherds cowherd boys cowherd boys and brahma regretted sought um, uh, forgiveness so here again again the stress is on human beings uh, you know, luck luck that's more important the saprayojanam saprayojanam what is the use of becoming a human being uh, more important is uh, we are warned that a danger awaits us a risk is impending and therefore so idu devadigalukku vivachedaka mandri they don't have they, the, the gods have don't, don't the gods don't have this distinction they also of course commit mistakes ask for pardon from shiva narayana they are forgiven they they go back to their own original status like those yakshas and gandharvas actually um, the feeling of these two narak nalakupa and manigriva were they wanted to live more, for more time in uh, the garden of nandagopa than uh, getting smashed by the uh, martyr uh, pulled by lord krishna as a child 
they wanted to live live more more time in in this world in this brindavan that was the, that was the feeling they said it they said it clearly to lord krishna himself see how meaning they wanted to be to be in this world that is uh, so, uh, yes to enjoy his leelas sports very good so to relish his sports so idu devadigalukku vivachedagam andre meaning so they cannot have this facility gods cannot have the facility deva deva adigalukku so deva gandharva yaksha kinnara kimpurusha and so so siddha alone siddha siddha gandharva kinnara kimpurusha and so so karma bhoogi bhoomi katarana uchita adhikarigalai munnittu devadigalaiyum upalakshikira no when the word nara is used yo naraha then it is also comprising of the gods it is a comprehensive term which includes gods how the human beings are fit to be in the earth which is meant for action discipline of action karma bhoomi ka tarah it is called karma bhoomi the earth is called karma bhoomi where we can perform actions and get get off and get on get off and off and on so karma bhoomi ka tarah uchita adhikarigale munnittu uh, quoting some say only indra is, india is karma bhoomi i, I think uh, there there is, a, there is some difference and uh, because india is a whole world for people in those days uh, they were, they did not see the, the other side of the world also at all. Uh, all all the uh, the sankalpa also declared only uh, a, a particular portion of india as the bharat varshe bharat kande meroho dakshine parshve so these are all certain restrictions of the land yeah, because our mind was also narrow and uh, we we didn't see beyond india and that that's why india is called karma bhoomi and uh, america is not karma bhoomi so we say this bhoga bhoomi this bhoga bhoomi is for only pleasures enjoyment that's also true because many inventions discoveries happen there and they are transferred here and we also suffer because of the scientific advancement technology technological improvement also whereas we lose our own uh, identity of spiritual life uh, and we we come to what do you call uh, the um, bustling uh, city uh, in of the madding crowd of the madding crowd so here so devadigalim uh, upalakshikira the word nara also includes gods it denotes also gods so ing nara shabdam yogattale atmavashiyai vidishvavartale shastra vashire lorayum kaatukiradaku now we, when we say the word two syllables na and ra nara it doesn't mean ordinary human being we are not talking about pe- people who are not capable of performing uh, karma yoga jnana yoga and bhakti yoga uh, there are there are people called yogis there are people who are called good meditators among the human beings so we, this is nara is does not refer to an ordinary um, very ordinary human being they also include yogis meditators atma vashiyai you can even call call them atma ramas they all uh, they are all uh, experiencing the bliss by understanding their own soul namely the original nature of the soul atma and you call it as kaivalyam uh, understanding our own soul in its original form tarupam so atma vashiyai then they also realize that god resides in them 
we don't realize. Ordinary people won't realize. Though we say outwardly, my my uh, my Lord is in the form of a, a thumb size, uh, you know, in my heart. Uh, somebody was asking me yesterday, is the is it equivalent in Tamil? Weir is equivalent to Atma in Sanskrit. Yes, I said yes. Both of them are not uh, visible. Uh, when you say Atma or Weir, Weir, life, L-I-F-E. We are not able to see them, but uh, this is equal. So atma is a Sanskrit word for life. So atma vashya is they realize that the Lord resides in the heart of the human being, and vidhisvabhavatale uh, by following the rules of the scriptural injunctions, shastra vashya. There are people who are following strictly. All the spiritual sciences, Vedic sciences, all other shastras are. So it now it, this Nara includes all the people. Again, there is no partiality. Again, there is no partiality from the Lord. Prapati is common to all. The word Nara refers to all gods, sages, yogis. Uh, realized soul, Atma Vashi, Shastra Vashya, uh, perfect uh, scientist, I will say, perfect scientist, spiritual scientist. Then uh, next paragraph uh, is a little long, but I will read it now and I will take, take it up in the next session only. Yavanuru Naran Ingraitha. The word Yaha Naraha is translated into Yavan Uru Naraha, meaning someone, some, some um, human being. Some human being means uh, there is no specific uh, reference that uh, he, is an, uh, uh, he is an ignorant man, he is a well uh, uh, read man, he is a wise man, he is a he, he, uh, Naraha is a woman. So, so it can also categorize women uh, because in Ramayana you find that Kaikei uh, Mantara, the hunchbacked woman, Kaikei Mantara, and uh, next to Shurpanaka, then Tataka, all women I mentioned, Sugriva's wife, Ruma, Tara, the wife of Wali. Mandodari, wife of Ravana, all were spiritual beings. They understood Rama as incarnation of Lord Vishnu. They all understood, but they acted differently. The identification was done by all the women in Ramayana, in, in the uh, incarnation of Rama. The same way, the Nara includes women also. Uh, she, my, my, my friend used to say, man is mort mortal, meaning woman is immortal. Because the proverb is man is mortal in English. So you can say woman is immortal. So, Yavanar Naran, Engaraitar, Yellarkum Nenevu Kudazi. The problem is. Any any one of the human beings, that's the meaning. Yaha Naraha meaning any one of the human beings, some human being. Some human being meaning that some human beings are different from other human beings. Meaning some human beings are fortunate. Some people are lucky. And those lucky people are categorized under yogis, sages, realized souls, and um, the, the last category, namely Shastra Vashya. Those who have adopted perfectly the science, the spiritual science. The, the, the men of letters, we say, English, the men of letters, that means they have read everything, they have understood everything, they have realized God. And we can even say, um, as Advaitam says, uh, Mukta, uh, Jeevan Mukta. Jivan Mukta. But that concept is not available here. 
So, Ellarkum Nenevu Kudad. We will not have memory. All of us will not have memory. Ellarkum Nenevu Kudad. If Adhikari Durlaban Nengir Arthamun totally. So, again, when some people are lucky, some people are fortunate, it means this kind of uh, uh, rightful person is very rare. There are people, but uh, a handful. A few people only are available in this category, namely yogis, siddhas, sages, and shastravashyas. Ipadi, kalatim, adhikaratim, shodit, akinchananani, vadhikarudi, kritya visheshate, early chigra. Now, Lord gives us an instruction that we must perform our duties. But when we perform our duties, we are made to realize that we are helpless. Akinchanaha. And we are tested, we are examined, we are assessed, and we are given sufficient time to realize and uh, when the time has not uh, become ripe, then he waits and he um, assesses the, our qualifications, adhikaram, our rights, whether I am fit for uh, emancipation. Then he uses the inclination to perform our duties. Special duties, Kritya Vishesha. Ramanu Jadaya Patram Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Shri Madhveng Katanatharyam Bande Vedanta Deshikam Kavitarki Kasimhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Shri Mate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Shri Rundrutu Pul Tiruvengada Mudayan Parundra Chonna Pajamoyul Urundrutane Amayado Taranil Valvarke Vanera Pomalavum Valve Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya